Hello and welcome back to Dead Mountaineers Hotel in the Worst Games in the World series. And um, we're back in the hotel room. And that really is as exciting as it gets at the moment. We're back in the hotel room and at this point I didn't know... Oh and here's the uh, rock and roll music. Back again for no reason. Alright, so I might as well have leave the room. But no! Shock, suspense. Oh, the door is locked from the outside. They're locked in. Kaiser have locked it. Good kind. Still don't get the rock music. It just seems <laughs> it's just mad that they put it in. Because I picked all that stuff up from the oh, then it just stops. Yeah, there you go. It's almost just turned it off randomly. See, in most games, what you'd do is you come across the locked door and what you do, the keys in the lock, you put some paper or something under the door push the key through, it would land there, and yeah the old trick that's an easy little puzzle to start with but no, not in this one um, I will spend a little while just probably, you, know, you can probably see the gears turning I try and do something, nothing happens so eventually we will walk away from here but it's just oh, another example of key on the other. what this game's getting wrong. Is that this is, this is the right at the beginning? This should be in a very easy puzzle. You picked a few things up. Just use them. It seems simple. But no, you actually have to go. You actually, f well, you'll see. But. And it's just not should be doing this to you at this early stage. I remember there's been literally no explanation of how you interact with the objects or anything in terms of the ones in the inventory. Uh, I'm guessing most of the time that's what I'm doing. I'm still guessing that's what I'm doing. I could fast forward all this but you know, it's it, it's important to show you that this game is dull. That you you will be Cold spending time. Violet or purple, maybe. Uh, yeah, the, the call button. Why doesn't he just press that? He doesn't even press it. As far as I know, no one's told him that it's not working or anything. Why don't you just press it and say, "Oh, someone's locked me in. Can you get me out?" But no, because that would be easy, that would make sense. Over, it's not <laughs> you just got to see what you actually have to do to, to get her out of this situation when there were two obvious solutions straight away. But no, um, <laughs> it's beyond goofy. The door is locked. And then what every adventure game. Oh, and there's the rock music back again. Every adventure game, what they need to do, they need to have a hook. The first, the two hooks. The first hook is the initial idea to get you into the game. This one had a reasonable one. You know, it's, the name is intriguing. You know, and it's about murders and great. I mean, great. That sounds good. But the, when you get in the game, it's just all done wrong. It's all done wrong. There's nothing. There's no pace. It doesn't make any sense. You don't tell what's going on. You just sort of here's a murder. There's, there's someone's died. You're here. I mean, why am I here? Do we discover this later on? I don't know. And then there's some <laughs> this music. Um, what you've got to do here is, and I show a very I'm very poor at this for some bizarre reason. 
you've got to shine the light off various things and then it, it quickly changes and then it changes to another thing and I made a mistake so quickly changes and oh yeah because as soon as you make that error you have to start all over again yeah that's fair enough but it's just just, just, just smack on the window you, 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 oh, you goof you, know, you just he's there just smash on the window yes <laughs> of trying to direct a beam of light over four different things instead of just clumping on the door or the window. That's just silly. It's silly. That is how you get in. What are you doing out here? It's freezing. So what are we, an amateur optician? Why hey, in the rock music. So on. Still, as eccentrics go, I guess yours is pretty harmless. That is compared to some of the others. Anyway, were you looking for something? Hi, yeah. Someone locked me in my room. So thanks for letting me in. I'm Lieutenant Peter Glebson. Lieutenant, interesting. Nice to meet you. I'm one myself. There's a, well, sort of. With so it's many adventure games see having see terrible acting. Cybernetic. Terrible voice acting. There is a that is school of thought now, I think, you. that it would be better if they just didn't have any voice well, acting. Yes, I'm actually a physicist, but that's a little joke Let just people what read it. Suddenly, infantry, you just well em eliminate a, a massive problem from the game. Yes, you have the initially have the problem as of said, having... Are you going back 20, 30, 20 years well, to when games had no voices? No. And people wanted voices then. So to go back would seem silly, but well for an without with the new voices, because well, how yes, awful they are, this just it ruins right, the game. You actually can ruin these games. You're just clicking through, you're clicking through these conversations, you're missing probably missing key information later on, because you're I just so infuriated by the voice acting. And again, I say again, how hard can it be? How hard can it be to get people to actually act it with even a just to act vaguely properly? I mean, the guy at the beginning. Oh God! I mean, the first video. Look at the first video. The, the the porter or the hotel owner. He's just awful. This is the guy's the best one. A stack of LPs. Now I'm someone who wants lots of things to look at in an adventure game. I like to examine, if there's a bookcase, I would like to look at the bookcase or, whatever, or the suitcase and say, you know, have someone say, I mean there might be some people, some might not get annoyed by that, but I like to have the options, I like to see everything around and look and interact with them. I don't like it when a game has like one or two objects and all of them are vital, but then sometimes they'll throw in a couple of objects that aren't vital and you're not used to the fact that these are no, the, there are extraneous objects who so you're thinking, well, how can I use this? But you never get to use it. This one seems to fall slight somewhere in the middle, in that there are a reasonable amount of objects to look at, and then there are just some you just can't look at, and it. And now it's open. What's going on here? Either there's something very odd. Well, anyway, if I'm staying, he could just take the key, of course, but he, you can't. And I apologise for going back in there, but I thought maybe that something would have changed, but nothing changes. So I just go back out. I'll go back to the point about too many things or not enough things to look up. This is reason reasonable. It's one of the better things it does. But the problem, as you'll see, is there is low. There are loads Hello. of rooms. You just, you, you just see now loads of rooms to look at just thrown at you I don't even know what I'm doing here and I've got the entire hotel it seems to explore it just I mean, all these places I, and you I mentioned about the not the, the, the not exactly brilliant uh, cursor it's a chore to actually look for objects so you've got 20 damn rooms to look through uh, and you don't even know what you're doing. 
and the interact icon, the pointer, is the same as the move to a new area icon. So it doesn't. Mm. Yeah, not good. Not so good. I appreciate the fact there's lots to do, but drip feed it, please. Sources. Sources. At least until you've given me a clue as to where I'm supposed to be going. And I, you do find out a little bit more. You have to do something with your car. But yeah, that's not exactly exciting. But you have to do a little bit with your car. Um, but I don't know that yet. And I've got the whole, ho whole hotel to look at. There is when I looked to see if there was a hotspot indicator. Because there's so much in this room. There's a lot in this room. But I can't... This is a game that desperately needs the hot, a hotspot indicator. If I'm wrong, and there is one, I apologise. But it, so it isn't obvious. In hunger as well, left. What are you? Presumably the same as you. Right. I don't know how he, how he got down here ahead of me, but... That's adventure game logic for you. I won't criticise the game for that. East. And I like the idea of a hotel to explore all different guests who I presume later on have their own stories and everything. But you know, you, you need to have more of a premise, so more of a setup to being here, and I keep going on about it, but I think it's important to know. I mean, it doesn't set up the narrative very well. You're just plonked into it. You almost like you feel as if you've <sighs> missed like the, the first chapter of the game, which explains why you're here. That's what how it feels when you first play. You feel as if you've missed a big chunk, or a little bit, a little chunk of the game that has explained where you where you're meant to be going, why you're meant to be here. Greetings. Do Barnstoker at your service? <laughs> Not really do Barnstoker. Is there any other? I mean, and may I ask, what absolute article? I don't think there is any other. Lieutenant Peter Glebski. You can call this a holiday visit. A detective? Smashing. Perhaps you can be of some aid. Perhaps. It's these youngsters and their hell machines. So oh, I know what a nuisance we were in our time, but this is on a whole different level. Uncle, what am I ever going to do with you? Yes, <laughs> of course. Lieutenant Glebski, allow me to introduce my late brother's only child and in investment, the Darling Bruin. My uncle here has trouble warming to our two-wheeled friends. I take it you're more in for the four-wheeled kind? I saw the car out front. It's a criminal eyesore. I don't know if it even counts as a vehicle. Tell me, why haven't the police cracked down on this menace? What's so? I would be most grateful, and considering the shoes you found, I should be doubly obliged. It was nothing. Oh Precious. yeah, I found his Kaiser shoes earlier. Kaiser is certainly taking her time with dinner. Ah well. Lieutenant, my child, I shall leave you together. Should you need me... Do barn stoker. Or stalker, or whatever the hell it is. Can't they just call him Jones or something? Why... Do you but want I just detective. weird. You're talking about him. Yeah. Well, you'd better think more about your car. You just left it to turn into. And why is he wearing these goggles inside? Right. Should be he looks like Zorro. You'll have to talk to the old. Yeah. Way to brush him off. All right. What an idiot. Maybe they're glued on or painted on. As you look at all this room, I don't know what the hell to look at. Give me a oh, give me something to so I can see what to look at at least. I'm probably making a bit too much out of these things, but well, you know, there's not much to make it out of anything. I mean, look at this! Look at that. This is massive globe just turns up. There must be some. But it is a shame because I I've been meaning to play this for a long time, to have it so criminally poor. It's annoying because I wanted to. I was genuinely looking forward to at least seeing what it was like. 
and it uh, dashed my hopes somewhat. It's all these rooms, I mean, I guess the idea is that you're going into these rooms, it's setting you up, right, these are all these rooms you can go into later on, you'll see them, but I've, I'll have forgotten them by then. Safety. But it's all these, it's as if they've spent all this time making these rooms, and then all you can look at is the safety document on the, on the wall. These are the Moses' rooms. No. The Moses' is Maybe spend less time doing that and more time hiring a good voice actor. There's an old camp. Now we came through here in the beginning. So I have actually released we've been here. At least I know what's going on. Kind of. At least we know where we are. And there's oh, was there a dog there before? I can't I can't even remember. It's been a while since I actually recorded that first episode. Now I would forgive most things if it allowed me to pick up the dog. But it didn't. I hope you're not getting too excited there by this. I know it's very relatively thrilling. But at least we get to see some. Yeah, see the hotel, it looks pretty good. I guess. Go around the back. And there's. Uh, I don't know why that happened, but. Um, yep, more. Nothing. More of nothing, which is pretty much a lot of this game, seems to be nothing. The lock is completely but, frozen over. A puzzle. Which I imagine we can't do anything about. Just yet. Looks like someone didn't make it to the garage on time. And I just realised I think I can move to the right there, but I didn't. So I didn't see what was to the right. Maybe something was to the right, I think. But uh, I ended up going in here. And uh, I, to be honest, I couldn't handle much more of this. And I was getting pretty fed up. As you are, I, I assume, by this <laughs> rather monotonous drone of a game. But um, then, then there's a, just new bits, new bits to discover, new bits where nothing is happening that we can see and there's a sort of uh, this would be interesting the Th there's lots of areas these would be interesting areas if we were drip fed them the as I mentioned the mentioned before yeah yeah um, we were going to find these new areas as the game progresses as new bits of information are revealed but it's just all thrown at you and again all I know is I have to get my car in the garage that is my quest at this moment, and the exciting quest. And pe you're not people aren't going to play that far to get to the exciting quest because they'll be bored out of their mind. I already am. You you already are. Just we're watching it, and I assume you've got this far. So um, you may have some semblance of interest, or you just want to see if anything exciting happens. Well, no, it doesn't. Nothing exciting happens. Um, you have seen the most exciting bit. And that you Looks do like a, a look. Well, the most exciting bit in this video. I mean, obviously, yeah, it might, it, ah, maybe I'm unlucky and it just gets really, really, really exciting after I stop world. playing. But I, this, I think it's a fair 99% sure it won't. There was this and we've got this guy again. 
He wouldn't impose on a newcomer like that. Well, this is not his first visit. I know him fairly well by now. Perhaps it's him, but ah, uh, it does no good to speculate. Oh god, this is the acting is just a tree. Oh. Maybe he just This guy's mate this guy's the first guy you see. The, uh, well Kaisa, ha. That's not like Le Ah Lel. Everyone calls Sometimes it Kaiser, he calls it something else, that's fair enough, but for all that he sees and hears as he stalks. I like the fact that you can blame the dog the for locking you in. But that's pretty much it. I don't think I do much else. I think I talked to him again just to see. But, um, you know, thanks for sticking with the video. Um, next time we will have a game. I'll try to make pick a game that's a bit more exciting. Um, but it will still be terrible. Otherwise it wouldn't be a worse game than it was. But, you know, sometimes sometimes you think they're going to be the worst. And I call up that, that, that the, the bridge constructor thing I did. And everyone commented on and said how uh, much of an idiot I was. Yeah. Fair play, yes, but I, you know, I specifically, oh yeah, and I couldn't be bothered with this puzzle. Um, I specifically I got I chose that game because it looked rubbish, this. and then it was it was okay, it wasn't too bad in the end. So, you know, some of these some of these worst games might be okay. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time, and goodbye.